वेलकम टू द यूट्यूब चैनल मिशन नेट फिजिक्स एग्जाम एंड गर्ल्स टूडेज वीडियो इज फॉर यू इफ यू थिंक दे क्वांटम मैकेनिक्स इज समथिंग विच इज डिफिकल्ट फॉर यू टू प्रिपेयर फॉर द अपकमिंग सी एस आई आर नेट फिजिकल साइंस एग्जाम ऑल्सो इफ यू डोंट इवन अंडरस्टैंड दैट विच टॉपिक्स यू शुड स्टडी इन क्वांटम मैकेनिक्स सो दैट यू विल बी एबल टू डू और सॉल्व द क्वेश्चन इन द एग्जाम ओके वट एवर क्वेश्चन विल बी देअर इन द एग्जाम so guys basically today in this video i'm going to talk about all these things and if you are someone who is going to prepare for the exam on your own you are going to prepare for the exam and without any coaching and just you are doing self preparation so i hope that today's video is going to help you okay along with this whatever topics i'm going to discuss today in this video like i'm going to tell you the topics so these are those topics of quantum mechanics if you will prepare these topics you will get the questions from these topics in the exam and there are great chances that we can find the questions from these topics in the exam okay and if you will uh, do the analysis of the previous year question papers of the csr or net physical science exam there you will find that most of the times the questions from these topics have been asked okay so from there we can have a hope that okay from these topics there can be questions in the upcoming exam okay so to score good or to solve as many questions of quantum mechanics as you can you should prepare at least these topics also i will let you know that which of these topics you can easily prepare okay and you will not face any difficulty to solve the questions based on those topics everything i am going to cover in today's video i hope that today's video is going to help you to prepare for the exam also the topics of quantum mechanics so if you will like this video please like it share it with your friends uh, those who are going to prepare for the upcoming csir net physical science exam and if you are new on this channel so please subscribe the channel and also press the bell icon so that you will get the notification for all the new upcoming videos on this channel so guys let's just start to this video and the topics which you should prepare if you are going to prepare for the upcoming csir net physics exam or the gate physics exam are these topics we are having okay so very first topic is the expectation value so many a times you can find the questions in the exam uh, like based on this thing that any operator will be there and you need to find the expectation value of that operator so it this kind of questions will be easy for you to do once you are going to understand the question or sorry the formula of expectation value okay so you just need to use that formula and you will be able to get or find the expectation value of the operator along with this there are few operators okay so we need to memorize the expressions or the values of those operators as well to solve these kind of questions okay along with this like it will be easy for you to solve these questions if you know that how can you solve the dirac notation and uh, like some basic things so if you will solve the previous year questions from this particular topic like in which they have asked to find the expectation value you will feel confident that okay now you will be able to solve the questions because you are having idea that what kind of questions you can expect in the exam from this particular topic okay now let's talk about the another topic we are having that is orthogonality and normalization conditions so guys uh, you will find that sometimes in the exam like in the previous question, year question papers they have asked the questions from these topics as well sometimes like they will say that okay two uh, wave functions will be given to you and they will say that okay these two wave functions are orthogonal okay and uh, then some unknown constant will be there unknown term will be there you need to find that unknown term okay so what you will do if you are familiar with the condition of orthogonality so they have said that okay these two uh, wave functions are orthogonal with each other so you are just going to apply the condition of orthogonality you know about and then you will be able to find the unknown term okay so this kind of questions can be there normalization condition is going to help you to solve different types of questions from different topics so that's why it's important to know about these conditions next topic if i am going to talk about is the uncertainty so guys they can also ask about the uh, uncertainty of uh, any operator like uh, you need to find the uncertainty in any operator or something like for any term or any function you need to find the uncertainty in that so you will be easily able to do that but uh, like you should know about the uh, formula of uncertainty okay then how can you find that and in this case also in the formula of uncertainty we are having the expectation value terms so just 
know about the formula of these topics also try to solve the previous year questions which have been asked from these topics so that it will uh, like boost up your confidence that okay these are the type of questions which can be there in the upcoming exams or uh, which can uh, have a possibility that from these topics aise questions puche ja sakte hain theek hai to ye things aap karenge agar to aapke confidence bhi aayega and aapke ye topics prepare bhi ho jayenge and these are the easy ones as well it's not like ki bahut difficult topics hain aisa nahi hai just you need to study about them a little bit and you will be able to do that okay now next is probability so if you will uh, think about the probability uh, so you will easily be able to solve the questions of probability as well just know about the expression or the formula of probability and also there are great chances that question from this topic can be there in the exam also solve the previous year question papers probability based questions which have been asked in the quantum mechanics okay or uh, in the questions of quantum mechanics now next is perturbation so guys the frequency of the questions based on perturbation based on the first order correction second order correction to the energy or some other terms we can ask okay and its frequency is very good like if you will uh, look at the previous year question papers you will find that okay bahut baar questions puche gaye hain frequency is very good from this particular topic so here now you will say that okay do i need to prepare complete topic of perturbation so guys if you will do the analysis of previous year question papers and i have looked at that so whatever questions are there from this particular topic okay so basically in that they have just asked those kind of questions jinme hame seedhe se formula apply karna hai or we will get the answer so basically i would say that if you will just know about the formula to find the correction terms okay or first order correction to the ground state energy or just a second order correction आप अगर फॉर्मुले भी याद रख लें ठीक है और प्रीवियस ईयर क्वेश्चन कर लें तो आपको भी पता चल जाएगा क्योंकि ओनली दिस मच आई नीड टू सॉल्व द क्वेश्चन इफ यू आर नॉट हैविंग टाइम एटलीस्ट इतना तो आप करें ठीक है और इट्स इजी जस्ट फॉर्मुला याद रखना है एंड देन यू विल बी एबल टू सॉल्व द क्वेश्चन नेक्स्ट वी आर हैविंग द डब्ल्यू के बी अप्रोक्सीमेशन मैथड ओके सो डब्ल्यू के बी अप्रोक्सीमेशन मैथड से रिलेटेड जो क्वेश्चन है बहुत बार पूछे गए हैं प्रीवियस ईयर क्वेश्चन पेपर्स में now many students find this topic difficult okay so i will try to provide you the video on this particular topic okay soon so aap uske through prepare kar sakte hain also kai baar aisa hota hai ki questions jo hote hain na wo directly usme mention nahi kiya hota ki you need to use the wkb approximation to get the answer sometimes they will give you the potential expression and they will ask for the dependency of energy eigen value on the n okay on the value of n so i hope that if you will find this kind of question you will understand that okay here i need to use the wkb approximation this is the condition also we are having a short trick corresponding to that okay so you can also use that short trick to get the answer but sometimes it is not possible to use the short trick to get uh, to get the answer or to know about the correct option because each and every term contains the same power of n so it becomes difficult to identify this thing ki kaun sa option correct hoga just with the help of short trick okay in that case we have to use the wkb approximation method in detail to get the answer so basically questions ko identify karna chahte hain ki agar kis question mein hame wkb approximation use use karna hai so is type ka jo question hoga unme mainly hame wkb approximation method use karna hota hai theek hai aur n ki dependency ki baat ki ja rahi hai not just ki potential diya hai energy find karna hai nahi aise to bahut sare systems ke corresponding questions ho sakte hain theek hai to wo jab aap questions dekhenge na to aapko aur zyada clear ho jayega बट मेनली यहाँ पे एन की डिपेंडेंसी अगर आप देखेंगे ना कहीं पे ऑप्शंस में सो so उसकी अगर उस पर मेन फोकस है तो वैसे क्वेश्चंस जो होते हैं दे आर रिलेटेड टू द डब्ल्यू के बी अप्रोक्सीमेशन मैथड ना लेट्स टॉक अब द नेक्स्ट टॉपिक दैट इज बोर्न अप्रोक्सीमेशन मेनली जो इस टॉपिक से क्वेश्चंस होते हैं उनमें कई बार तो मैंशन होता है कि यू नीड टू यूज द बॉर्न अप्रोक्सीमेशन ऑल्सो मेनी स्टूडेंट्स फाइंड दिस टॉपिक डिफिकल्ट सो आई विल ट्राई टू प्रोवाइड यूर वीडियो ऑन दिस एज वेल तो आप उसके थ्रू इन टॉपिक्स को प्रिपेयर कर लेंगे and for that if you are new on this channel to subscribe kar lijiyega taki whenever i am going to upload the video you will get the notification for that okay now next is commutator easy to do okay the questions related to the commutator are easy also you just have some idea about the properties of commutator and uh, just do the previous year questions from the previous year exams okay uh, so in that case it will be easy to prepare as well and it is having the great chances that questions from these topic can be there in the exam okay next topic is this one now not just a single topic it is 
here in this topic like they can ask about the energy expression they can ask about the wave function they can ask about the potential expression kiske kis system ki baat ki ja rahi hai so there we are having different systems this question can be related to the one dimensional box this question can be related to infinite square well and harmonic oscillator and also topic harmonic oscillator so there are different topics which we need to prepare okay and unke corresponding agar aap energy expression ko wave function expression ko potential ko dhyan mein rakhenge aapko thoda sa yaad rakhna hoga ki kya expression hote hain aur unse related agar aapse question pucha jayega aur ek na ek question to unme se kisi system se related pucha hi jata hai so this is a topic jo hame padhna hai aur jinke corresponding hame expressions yaad rakhne honge ki wave function expression kya hota hai potential expression kya hota hai and sath hi sath energy eigen value find karne ke liye bhi bahut baar pucha ja sakta hai okay and whenever you are going to read about any system wahan pe n ke corresponding kya values hai minimum value of n basically aapko dhyan rakhni hogi because they can ask the question in this way that what will be the ground state energy corresponding to this particular system yeah for this particular system so in that case if you will be familiar with this thing that okay n should n can have this minimum value so ground state energy will be easy for you to find out okay so guys these are the topics which everyone should try to prepare or any me se aapko questions mil sakte hain upcoming exams mein okay so basically aap itne topics to kam se kam prepare kare hi if you find it difficult or uh, agar aapko lagta hai ki aap mushkil hoga questions ko kar pana to itne karenge to aapko questions mil jayenge exam mein theek hai jo in topics se honge so in me se questions puche jaane ke chances bahut zyada hain sath hi sath i will also try to provide you some of the topics or their explanation or questions based on them on this channel okay so keep on watching the videos which i have provided till now also soon more videos will be uploaded so keep on watching the upcoming videos as well and if you are new on this channel please subscribe the channel and subscribe karne ke baad mein niche subscribe likha hoga us par click kar dijiye and then bell button hi aayegi ek uske sath mein there will be a bell icon so click on that as well so that you will get the notification for all the new upcoming videos on this channel i hope that this video is going to help you to prepare for the exam also guys you can share the videos with your friends as well okay thank you very much for watching this video thank you